Coming up on Mountain News this morning, freezing temperatures cause some con road concerns here in the region and an Eastern Kentucky Youth Service Center spreads some love and warmth while giving kids something to hold on to. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News this morning. Good morning. It's 633 on this Friday. We finally made it to Friday earlier in the week. I think it was Tuesday. I said it should be later in the week, but here we are. The weekend is almost here and let's take it to Brandon to look at our frigid Friday and Brandon. I think one concern this morning are the roads right. because some of those wet spots. Well, they probably frozen this morning, so if exactly. you're out and about. Just take it easy. Exactly. So just take it easy out there. If it looks wet, it's probably refrozen in some ice this morning. And some locations had some snow overnight. Now again, it was lake effect snow didn't show up on any of the models, so very hard to try to pin down where it would set up, but uh, it was there and even brought some light accumulations for some. But outside WIMT this morning, no additional snow overnight, at least no additional accumulations. Some flakes were flying when I first got here and a few may still be flying out there right now. Temperatures in the teens and 20s though, area wide 16 Ashland and Wise now are the cold spots. 23 in Middlesboro and Jacksboro are the warm spots and that's not very warm to say the least. 26 is the forecast today. If you clear out faster, especially those counties in the north, you may get to right around 30, but everybody stays below freezing regardless today. And if those skies clear out as expected overnight, we'll be into the single digits for most areas. Seven is the forecast overnight low. Dakota. Uh, thank you. A man was killed early Thursday morning following a crash in Pike County. It happened when a car turned off of US 23 also known as South Mayo Trail near the Kentucky 3946 intersection and into the path of a commercial truck. The driver and two passengers were taken to Pikeville Medical Center where 42 year old Eric Blankenship was pronounced dead. The driver of the truck was unharmed and no drugs or alcohol are suspected. More than 100 guns were found in carry on bags at Kentucky airports last year. A report from the Transportation Security Administration says agents confiscated 119 guns in 2021. That is more than double the amount from 2020 when air travel plummeted during the pandemic. At Kentucky airports, the most guns were confiscated at Louisville's Muhammad Ali International Airport with 51. There were 43 discovered at the Cincinnati Northern Kentucky Airport and 22 at Bluegrass Airport over in Lexington. The firearms were discovered during routine security screenings at airport security checkpoints. Emergency management officials across the region are asking people to take extra caution during the next couple of days as low temperatures continue to create a battle against the elements. Our buddy Forbes shares some tips from officials on how to stay out of the chill while keeping the inside as safe as possible. If the people of Eastern Kentucky have learned anything about weather, it is to be ready. Uh, we had probably two people that was without power that needed generators. Uh, everybody else seemed to be well prepared for it. But as more winter woes pour in, county officials are keeping the reminders coming. If they've got uh, generators, you know, electrical heat, but be cautious with them all as always. Don't have them around anything that's you know, really flammable. Saying even as Thursday's snow clears up, the ice on the roads and the icy temperatures could stick around for a while. So knowing how to properly heat your space is crucial. We'll try to stay away from kerosene heating. Um, it, you know, if you have to use space heaters, uh, use electrical space heaters. With tips like using surge protectors with electric heaters and not overworking your home's central unit. Even with the cold temperatures, it, it may not feel as warm, but get a comfortable temperature and set it there and leave it. Um, because as the temperature drops, it's going to work a lot harder. But if you go fluctuating the temperature up and down, you could cause them uh, potentially to freeze more. And reminders to test your home smoke alarms or CO2 detectors. All things that can easily be forgotten in the craziness of the cold. Carbon monoxide's nothing really to mess with around here. Emphasizing the importance of staying safe and making the right moves. Use a little common sense, I guess and make sure you're as best prepared as you can. As winter moves through the mountains, Buddy Forbes, WYMT Mountain News. Well, for those in Lawrence County who cannot find warmth, the county opened three warming stations, one at the Blaine Church of God, one at the Lawrence County Community Building, and one at the Fallsburg Community Center. Freezing temps could cause icy conditions on the roads this morning. Crews say they've been working 12-hour shifts, treating roads, but 
say it is better to stay home because their melting agents lose effectiveness when temperatures are below 20 degrees. They say working back to back winter events are exhausting, but say they have enough salt and supplies to get the job done. It's very stressful and these crews work very hard and we always appreciate it when the public shows their appreciation for how hard they work. Officials remind drivers to take it easy on the roads like watching your speed and if you see a snowplow, make sure you give it enough room to work. Stepstone Family and Youth Services offers help to children in foster care but is spreading the love in a different way. The agency's wrapped in the love blanket drive started on January 17th and will end on February 14th. Stepstone officials hope to help children by giving them something to call their own and spread love and comfort by giving them a little piece of home. When these kids come into care, sometimes they have the clothes on their back and they don't get time to grab their clothes or grab their blankets or grab anything that reminds them of home. And a lot of these kids, that, that's all they think about is wanting to go back home. You can call any of Stepstone's locations across the Commonwealth to donate blankets. More than 200 entries from 33 different schools. The Kentucky Derby Museum has selected the winner of this year's Horsing Around with Art competition. Mercy Academy 11th grader Lily Swan was surprised at school Thursday by the folks at the Kentucky Derby Museum. She'll have a race named after her at the Kentucky Derby, a seat on Millionaire's Row, and her painting will be on display at the Derby and in the Kentucky Derby Museum. Swan says she worked really hard on the piece and did what she could to capture the intimacy of the moment depicted. Originally the picture, the eye was closed and we wanted to have it open because it like furthers that connection and it had a really nice like, I don't know, perspective. And you feel connected to the horse because it's like, I don't know, it's very intimate to wash your horse after you like won something. Four other entries for Mercy were runners up for honorable mentions, bringing in another $800 donations to their our department totaled $1,300 from this competition. Six forty on this Friday morning. We are still tracking that cold air that is basically locked into place over our region this morning. There's even a few flakes still flying in some areas thanks to that moisture coming off of Lake Erie. So we're going to continue to watch that as we start your Friday and then eventually your weekend. Twenties down south from Harlan to Middlesbrough to Jacksboro. Everybody else now in the teens and still falling. We're looking at those wind chills feeling like the single digits in a lot of locations this morning. Layers are your friend if you're heading out early today. Watch out for some of those roads. Could be slick. Get you some extra coffee to get you uh, focused up there to head out to get out the door this morning and to keep you warm as well. WIMC weather app forecast, which you can download right there. Oh, the other side. Oh, there we go. Right there. I'll get it here in a second. When you're standing in front of a green screen, it's a little bit uh, confusing there, but cold this morning gives way to some snowflakes around early this morning going into clearing skies, maybe slowly clearing skies as we head into the afternoon hours, but temperatures, I do believe today, Dakota will stay below freezing everywhere, even if you get closer to 30 instead of those upper 20s. All right, Brennan, thank you so much. Well, at 641, still to come here on Mountain News this morning, the committee looking into the attack on the Capitol last year asks yet another person to get involved with the investigation.